Asymmetry from side to side when looking at the shoulder joint is normal. It's to be expected. Do we commonly use the opposite shoulder to compare to during an assessment? Yes. However, there's commonly asymmetries that don't compare to pain from side to side as we go through that process. Stay tuned to find out why it's okay and normal to have these asymmetries. So let's start with number one, developmental factors. As the body grows and matures, genetic and environmental factors shape the individual's anatomy. What does this mean? A good example is the heart. It's directly to the left-hand side of the body. The liver's to the right, and even limb lengths can differ by small margins. Asymmetries in even bones, muscles, and even the nervous system may develop based on how someone uses their body frequently throughout their life. All right, now let's get into number two, functional adaptations. Many asymmetries develop due to functional adaptations. An example is when you look at the dominant side of someone's body, could be the leg, could be the arm or the shoulder. They're often gonna be stronger and have more refined motor skills on that particular side. This can lead to asymmetry, meaning a difference in muscle size, strength, and even coordination. However, this does not inherently mean that there's going to be a problem because the body often compensates for these differences in a balanced way. Now let's get on to number three here, movement patterns. Habitual movement patterns and lifestyle factors contribute significantly to asymmetry. People may develop more strength on one side compared to the other due to sports, work, life, or even daily habits. A good example of that is always carrying a bag on one shoulder, right? Or maybe always walking with a suitcase or your luggage on one side. Now keep in mind, this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to lead to pain or dysfunction though it can sometimes be associated with overuse or strain if it becomes really extreme. Okay, like anything guys, you don't wanna take anything to the extreme. Okay, any too much of anything is usually not a good thing. It's the same scenario. Now, number four is asymmetry, talking from a clinical perspective here. Now, from a clinical perspective just means that if we're talking about manual therapy, taking things from an approach of someone working on you in the clinic, hands-on, asymmetry is often seen in posture, range of motion, and muscle tone. However, clinical research has shown that asymmetries are rarely linked to pain. Let me say that one more time. Asymmetries are rarely linked to pain, unless, again, they are extreme or combined with other contributing factors, like poor movement control or overuse. Now, keep in mind, many studies have debunked the idea that asymmetry is the root cause of discomfort. Pain is more complex than that. There's something we follow called the biopsychosocial model. And all that means is that there's different factors that exist, like stress, diet, and sleep, that play a contributing role into how your pain is and when it gets elevated and when it lessens. And what this means is a person can have asymmetries from side to side without any pain being present. So at the end of these studies, what does it tell you? Treating the asymmetry alone isn't always necessary unless it's directly linked to a movement issue. And explaining that that asymmetry is a normal part of human variation, meaning like, hey, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister may have the same type of things that you do, having differences from side to side can help reduce the fear that you have and empower you to focus on improving function rather than chasing an unattainable goal of perfect symmetry from side to side. Now, maybe you really like this explanation of asymmetries and why they're normal and why you shouldn't be scared silly by your doctor or your physical therapist. But maybe you're saying there, scratch your head being like, yeah, I am tight from side to side, but like, what do I do? How do I get pain-free? This didn't really help me there. Now, if you're one of those people who fully need the help figuring out the source of your pain, and need a plan to fix it, I'd love to help you by sending our free shoulder training, explain the NTS shoulder method we use to get our current clients pain-free. All I need you to do is just comment the word shoulder in all caps below, and I'll send over that free training to you right away. And keep in mind, this training is gonna help you get back to pain-free lifting. So if you want that training, be sure to do that right away before we kind of close this out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, so you don't miss our next one. Take care.